हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू आवर प्रीवियस टॉक्स ऑन द माइक्रो एनाटॉमी ऑफ फीमेल यूरिथ्रा एंड इट्स रिलेशनशिप विद द मैकेनिक्स ऑफ फीमेल यूरिथ्रा इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई वांट टू स्पीक टू यू अबाउट द डिस्टल यूरिथ्रा आई होप यू रिकॉल दिस डायग्राम वेयर एंड आई टोल्ड यू दैट urethra in a female is subdivided into five parts or percentiles we have talked about intermural urethra we have talked about the middle urethra and now in this presentation i am talking to you only about the distal urethra if you look at this coronal section of female urethra the the top portion has a muscle sleeve longitudinal inner and outer circular and then rhabdo sphincter but the distal urethra about which we are talking today does not have any muscle layer it is only a simple collagenous tube so this is the muscular part and this is the collagenous part of the urethra and this is about which we are talking now in the sagittal view this is where the collagenous part of the urethra lies and this is one to which we are referring as the distal urethra if you recall this diagram the distal urethra lies below the urogenital diaphragm so what is shown in purple is the distal urethra if you see its relationships what lies around it or by the side of it the first structure that you will see is the vestibular bulbs on one side and then on the other side and they traverse anteromedially to meet at the level of clitoris over and above these vestibular bulb is wrapping of a uh, two muscles which are called bulbous spongiosus muscle so this distal urethra is anterior laterally related to these two structures in female vestibule and then when you come further down towards the orifice you recall in one of my presentation earlier i talked to you about the location of urethral orifice at the urethral mound in the female vestibule so this is the mound and this is the urethra coming distally what you have in some patients particularly in some young girls that as you come down just inside the meatus there is some extra collagenous ring which narrows down this urethral uh, caliber and this is this was called as leon's ring dr leon described in his six neurological patients long time back see this is normal and this is the ring this is the normal this is the ring so what this small condensation of collagenous tissue does it creates a small ring which may or may not obstruct the urinary flow if you see more of the relationship of the distal urethral orifice in some patients it speculates at the level of the meatus and posteriorly is a vagina that is placed and this distal urethra is fixed to the anterior wall of vagina in fact it is a part of the anterior wall of vagina and in between the two lie some peritheal glands which open in the distal urethra uh, posterior laterally and then there are some elastic fibers which go all around the vagina and as well as the urethra and the loop around the urethra these fibers are same fibers around the vagina around the urethra and uh, they the vagina has certain degree of elasticity that you know urethra also enjoys the same degree of elasticity because similar fibers are coursing around the distal urethra and the middle urethra so friends so much so about the distal urethra anatomy and uh, in case you have any question or comments you can write to me on my email have a good day